everybody it's jen thank you so much for joining me today uh i am filming this on thursday but this is my friday haul for january 15th hope everybody's doing wonderful um i have a bunch of stuff to do on friday so i wouldn't be able to do my haul till like much later in the day so i figured i'll be uh you know i have everything that i need to show so i'll just do it on thursday this way i could upload it in the morning and um no one will have to wait in case you're looking for it so i hope everybody's doing great uh things are good here just you know doing a little shopping and doing making some projects of course so i wanted to show you everything i got this week and show you a few things i made as well so first of all, we're going to start with Michael's. Um, I did pick up this, one of their new Valentine paper pads. They had this one and another one that is very similar to one that I had in my stash already. So I didn't get that one. I got this one. It was, um, I can't remember if I used my 40% off coupon for it or if it was part of the 30% off sale. I know their Valentine paper crafty is 30% off now, but I did get this uh, last weekend, so it could have been regular price and I used my coupon, but either way it was 30 or 40% off. And I think this is super cute. I'm going to do a, a quick flip through. I already cut into it for a few things, which I'll show you, but um, just, just to take a look, see, obviously, but there's cute little candy hearts and there's two of each. This one I cut into too, but this is like six by six. You can make them into cards or obviously use them in other ways, which I'll show you. There's this, it's like, it looks like, um, it like supposed like it's supposed to be linen or maybe not linen i don't know some kind of fabric and it's you know kind of like an ombre color too very pretty these are nice like heavyweight cardstock pieces not 110 but you know bigger or thicker than 65 i think i really like this page i only have one because i took one out already but um it's different color like watercolor stripes and gold foil hearts on it as well with like little dots too really really pretty and this one that has valentine sentiments pink this one i cut into also i love to use these strips in different projects so that's the one that's not cut there's this page that has pretty different colored hearts haven't used that yet and there it's like there are different color schemes in this pad so i think it's pretty versatile uh, this one has like tassels all the way around and just it's like a very I don't know if you could see it, but they're like little white polka dots on this aqua background so you can use it as a layout or cut it apart I'm sure I'll be cutting it apart and then this one has little like um, envelopes let me move it closer so you can see sorry for the shadow and the hearts say like friendship and sweet talk. Hey there, cutie pie. Just like, you know, like what conversation hearts would say. Very cute. This one I love. It's like a purpley pink with gold foil hearts on it. Really pretty. This one I love. This is one of my favorites. It looks like, like cookies and kind of watercolor painted. Just so pretty. I use this in a card. X and O, used a little bit of that. Actually, I took a whole page out. This one has, um, it's not like perforated, but it does have dashes where you can cut these apart and then just fold them and make instant cards. So that's really cute, right? And then this one has different sentiments as well. Very pretty. And this is like one of those fabric-y looking ones, but in pink and white, kind of ombre, not really tie-dye, but this one is uh, cute cut aparts, cute sayings. This is also foiled and this says, uh, has X's and O's and there's a very tiny white polka dot on this pinky purple background. Oh, there's one I already cut into. See, I made a bow, a couple bows. <laughs> um, this one has different conversation hearts, super cute. This one has little lips. Very pretty. 
and yeah this is one of this came from the page that goes to this don't you hate like when you get cut aparts like this and you can't use your trimmer to cut it apart usually there'll be like you know a line that you can go all the way down and then you know turn it and do the same thing but on this one you can't because there's no line that goes all the way across so you kind of have to like use your scissors or just be really careful when you're using your trimmer i don't know just a little pet peeve of mine this one, obviously you can see it's like a different kind of color scheme. It has like the uh, dark turquoise and purpley pink, kind of like a grayish white background and some non-metallic gold hearts. This is like confetti or sprinkles and more sentiments, but these are in turquoise. Two of those. This page, I already used one, I'll show you, but I really like, it looks like, um, like if you're going to do a tassel before you rolled it up, it looks kind of like that or like a pinata kind of. So a really cute pad, I thought different. And that's why I picked it up. Um, I will show you the cards I made in a second. I just want to show you the new dies I used to make them as well. Okay. Oh, and I did get a couple other things from Michael's. They, I got this for a dollar in their dollar, you know, sticker clearance section. And I thought these were so cute. Look at the little faces on them. Aren't they adorable? So I figured I could use those for a dollar, definitely. And then in the new Paige Evans, what, what's it called? Explosion box or something. Um, I found a couple embellishments. These were, I used my 20% off coupon for all regular price purchases. So this was $4 instead of five. But I thought these paper clips were really, really cute, right? All different colors and perfect for planners or notebooks. And then I got these puffy photo corners. And this one, you could see it's kind of like silver holographic. And then there are different prints on those and on those as well. So I picked those up also for $4. They had a bunch of other stuff. Some things I didn't think were really worth it with just the 20% off, so I'll wait for a bigger sale. So um, those are the other things I got at Michael's. Just move those over. Okay, let's go on to um, Allie because I wanted to show you some dies. This is a die set I got from Surprise Creation. And um, they call it like a fancy edge square. Let me see if I wrote it down. I didn't, but it was $8.99 for the set. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And you can see that it cuts out the inside part of the, um, the fancy square. And then on the outside, it leaves a stitch border as well. So if you wanted to make it a frame, it would look really nice if you did that. And I love all the different sizes that Surprise Creation always has. They have great nesting die sets. Um, you know, they're a little expensive, but for what you get, I don't think they are. So, you know, I think this is totally worth it. I love the shape. I love the fancy square shape. So let me show you a couple cards I made with that. And I use the Sweet Talk collection for these three pages or papers. The, um, the base, I used a paper that I had in my stash. But um, yeah, I just thought it was really cute. It didn't need too much if, you know, with the pretty papers, I didn't want to put too many embellishments on it because I think the papers speak for themselves. Um, I puffed it up on the Dollar Tree foam tape. And uh, yeah, I just use like every other size for the, um, for the papers. And then for this, this is another thing I got from Allie. I'll show you the pack. This is um, a resin heart, which I think is really cute. So that's it, didn't add anything inside. Um, oh, and I also cut this out of 110 pound cardstock and backed each piece on that before I put it up on foam tape. So it's really nice and sturdy. The next one I made, I made it, I used like the frame part of this, of the second size one, and I cut it out. Well, actually, yeah, I used this one. So the part that I cut out 
um, for this die, I put on this card, and then I used the negative space for this card. And I um, made it a shaker, as you can see. This is actually, this is gonna be part of my design team projects for February for Buttons Galore, because I used all of their sequins and shaker bits, and then this is a charm from them as well. So uh, I think it came out so cute. I used three millimeter foam for, uh, for the foam so I could have a lot of space for shaker bits. I used some Cricut acetate that has little holographic um, polka dots on it, which I think looks really sweet. And the silver complements the silver charm. I have a little bow punch that I got, I think it was Fiskars. Um, and I used that for uh, for this embellishment. Also, this is from the Sweet Talk paper. That's the pinata looking one in the background. So I just think this came out so cute, nice and thick, as you can see. Um, I will, I'll leave a tutorial, a link to my tutorial for how to make foam cards, foam shaker cards like this. I'll leave it down in the description box just in case you're curious. But um, yeah, so those are my two six by six cards that I made this week. Hope you guys like them with those dies. Um, let me show you those cards. This is a pack of 20. It was only $1.99 from Allie. It comes with aqua and pink and white. And they're really nice resin hearts. Just very basic, but a good quality. And they're nice and rounded. I'll leave a link down below for these as well. This is from a different store. But um, you get 20 for $1.99. Very cute. And also from Allie, I got from the Becky store. Um, I saw this on Erica's channel. It's a bow, a scalloped bow, that has little tiny heart cutouts in it. So this is the bow part. And you can see the hearts. And then it comes with two, you could either like use the two tails together like this, or just use one or the other. Um, I used, this I made a couple of them and this this is the uh, the middle piece which is stitched which I thought was really nice let me show you the ones that I made I made a foil one this is like a rose gold gold foil that I have in a roll I think it was from Michaels from a long time ago so I thought that came out so pretty and this foil paper is really easy to bend so there aren't really like many bend lines I just used some I think I used um, wet glue to, I, I don't remember. I think it was wet glue to hold it together. And then I used this one. This is like a pearl paper and um, it's like pink pearl. This is a little heavier weight. So it did kind of like fold in the corners. Not that that's bad, but that's what that looks like. Really cute, nice size. I didn't put any embellishments on in the, uh, the middle yet. Just, you know, to leave it open for what I want to use it for, which I'm not sure what that is yet. So anyway, this bow was $5.80. Not too bad, I didn't think it's a good quality, so. All right, so that is it from Allie for this week. Let's see, what else do I, well, let me show you something quick. I just got today, I went to Aldi. Do you guys shop at Aldi for groceries? I know some areas don't have them, but my area has a ton of them and I love Aldi, it's it's great. And every week they have like, um, like a fun aisle that has different things that change. And this week they have these scissors and it's a four pack of scissors that's $3.99. They have different patterns and colors and I really don't need scissors, but I couldn't pass these up for $3.99. So there's like two big ones. Does it say what size? Yeah, okay. There's nine, uh, 9.8 inch shears, 8.4 inch universal scissors, sewing scissors that are 4.7 inches, and then craft scissors, which are five and a half. So could not pass it up for $3.99. Hopefully they're okay. Um, I'll keep you posted. Um, let me know if you guys got these too. So had to get those and let's see. Okay, I went to Dollar General. I hardly ever go there. Um, I don't know, the one by me is super small and I don't really find too much normally, but I did find a couple of cute things this week. I found these pom-poms. These were in the Valentine Crafts and it was only a dollar. Look at the pretty colors. There's like this uh, like violet color and then a teal aqua and a pretty pink. And then there's white and this like funky red looking one. And uh, actually the pink one has those like things that stick out as well. 
So I just, I love these colors and for a buck, could not pass them up. And also in the Valentine section, look at these cute little truck decorations. They're little wood trucks and these are each a dollar. Just so adorable, right? So uh, I, I have some Valentine decorations in my house and I've just put these up like on the um, shelf above my sink and they look super cute. So I wanted to show them to you in case you like that kind of stuff as well. Speaking of um, Valentine's Day, I added this to my Valentine's hutch. Um, remember I got that, well, I got two gumball machines from Target. This is one that I did so far. I spray painted it with like off-white chalk paint and I filled it with some of those cherries that I showed you guys last week. And this is a Hobby Lobby ribbon. And I just think it came out so cute. And you knew I had all those <laughs> cherries. I had to do something with them. So I think a lot of them look good in here. So I just wanted to show you that. The other one, I spray painted aqua. And it's not chalk paint, so it's taking a lot of coat. So I'm not done with that one yet. But I'll show it to you when it's all done. All right, so next, let's see. Um, I went to Dollar Tree, got a few things, not too much. They had these craft bottles, and, and these are in the Easter section, which are just starting to get out. But I like the, uh, the gingham lids. I thought those were super cute. And then I got some new ribbons, summer repurchases. I got um, the sheer ones. I love their sheer ribbon. This is like a lighter pink one. And this one's a darker pink. And then a yellowy one, which I think I have already, but I love that color. And then this one I have not seen before. I've seen other people haul it, but it says glitter ribbon. It's 1.67 yards. And, uh, oops, my finger's stuck. Um, I don't know, I just thought it looked kind of cool. It's like really chunky looking, if you can see. I'm just, I'm gonna leave that plastic on it now because I don't want it to go everywhere, but uh. I figured it might be fun to try to do something with it. I don't know what, but I'll uh, keep you posted about that as well. And let's see, I think I just have one more thing. Yes, I got my Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio package in. Uh, I'm not on their design team, but I did order the design team package because uh, I just love all the stuff that was in it. I was I almost subscribed to it you know there's a subscription box but it's like uh $45 a month or something like that so I don't know if I want to spend that much every month but we'll see I might change my mind but um anyway let me just uh, there are a lot of unboxing videos for this on YouTube so I just I won't go through everything in detail but I'll just show you some of the things that came in there those cute little heart beads there are these reds and hearts with um, like glitter in them. I looked at it quick yesterday. There are these little candies with little hearts like uh, indented in them. So adorable. And there are these like clay conversation hearts, different colors and different sayings on them. And then there was another one that was just pink. Yeah. And they just say love. Totally adorable. Good for Valentine shakers. And this, sorry about that. Woof. Look at that effect. Very iridescent little silver hearts. And then these hearts are beads and they're kind of like faceted, but different colors. I'll make some cute um, dangles. And then here are some plain resin hearts. And these are, they have like a little bit of sparkle to them, little glitter, different colors. Similar to the ones that I got from Allie. Pretty. And then these I thought were so cute. Now my package opened, so I think one, yeah, came out. They look like little balloon hearts. See, there's like the bottom part. So these would be cute to make like into a balloon embellishment on a card, I was thinking. And they have all different colors, totally adorable. And then some more of the ball chains. These are great. Love the pink color. And here are some keychains. There's red and pink, perfect for Valentine's Day projects. And here are some little red enamel hearts. And they have like a, kind of like a rose gold backing. There's five of those. So pretty. And look at these tiny beads. These are so pretty. These are faceted too. All different colors. 
But the hole is not too tiny, which is nice. So many. Oh, totally love. Oh, and look at this shred. It's really pretty. And then look at these little boxes. They're like, I don't know what they are. Okay. <laughs> they look like diamond dots, but they also look like they also look like really tiny bling. So maybe like a combination of those. Anyway, I think they'd be great for shakers or for like little tiny embellishments. Really pretty colors. And then, oh, I didn't even see these. These are some more of the ball chains and these are red. And then I think this is the last thing. Yeah, this pretty trim. Oh my gosh. You can use this like as it is or just cut the hearts apart and use them separately. So many pretty colors. But I really like ordering from this shop because they're, I love the curated finds, you know, things like you can't find in these different com or combinations. I think it's such a great deal. And it was like $40, I believe, which is not bad for all of this fun stuff. So I think that's all I have to show you guys. Let me just do a quick scan of my craft room, which is looking pretty messy at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I am going to be uh, busy doing some crafting, of course. And I hope you guys find some time to do some crafting this weekend as well. And stay warm. I will be back soon with another crafty video. Leave me a comment. I would love to read it. And um, I will talk to you guys later. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.